Welcome back to Tech Bed Pike. Today in the studio, we are unboxing the Asus Rogue Zephyrus Duo 16 inch gaming laptop. This laptop comes with the 14 inch screen pad, it's a 4K. Uh, touch screen which is below the main display so there's two displays on this laptop it's very much like the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo 15 inch that we unboxed just a couple weeks ago the difference between this laptop and that laptop this laptop tar the target audience is gamers that laptop that we unboxed a couple weeks ago the target audience is content creators video editing photo editing that type of thing um, and I really think that Asus is the only manufacturer at this point that is manufacturing laptops with a second screen. Uh, so they're a little bit ahead of the curve in that area. Uh, let's go ahead and go through the specs real quick. Like I said, it has that secondary screen. It's a screen pad 14 inch 4K 3840 by 1100 secondary touch display. The main screen is 165 hertz, 3 milliseconds, 16 inch mini LED QHD display, 2560 by 1600, 16 by 10 aspect ratio, IPS type tone validated display, has an RTX 3080 Ti, 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. Uh, it will boost up to 1445 megahertz at 165 watts in manual mode and then or 150 watts in turbo mode this does come with a muck switch which is gets a thumbs up for me amd ryzen 9 6900hx processor 8 core 16 threads so this thing is really fast has 32 gigabytes of ddr5 at 4800 megahertz um, it comes with a 2 terabyte PCIe 4.0 performance SSD, comes with Wi-Fi 6E uh, with Rogue Range Boost, um, and so that's interesting. So we'll do maybe a little bit of um, testing on that. comes with a 90 watt hour battery, supports up to 100 watt USB-C fast charging, so that's great. Um, we're going to go ahead and unbox this. We're going to check out the chassis, the keypad, the trackpad, the two displays. Uh, we'll go through the I.O., the weight, and all that. We'll even check out the internals if we can. And then I'll have some initial thoughts at the end. Let's get into it. Okay, let's go ahead and unbox this laptop. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what the Duo screen looks like on this laptop. So it looks like we got a couple things here. It looks like we got a wrist rest that comes in the box. So that's great. I'm gonna open this up a little bit and see if there's anything else in here. It's not, it's just cardboard. And then over here, I'm guessing this is the charging brick, but we're gonna, it's a little tight in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the foam out here. And lift the laptop out. And the charging brick and cables. And we'll go ahead and get the big box out of the way. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the charging brick with the cables here. Let's see if I can get this thing opened. All right, so here's the brick itself, and it's pretty much in there. I think I have to open that flap to get this out, and it's pretty good size all right so that is a 280 watt power adapter brick set that off to the side as well check out and see where the cables are at whoops bump the camera move these out of the way all right, we're going to open the brick up here. Is 
that is heavy. I'll be interested to see what that weighs um, with the laptop itself. Let's unravel this here. Oops, go the wrong direction. Nice long cable, I like that. We'll move that off to the side. Let's check out the wrist rest real quick. It's being held by this sticker. Go ahead and take it off. Pretty flexible. Rubber. Has this nice little embossment right there, emblem. Uh, that actually, oops, sorry, bump the camera again. Occupational hazard. That emblem right here on the rest rest here matches the laptop box. So I wonder if this logo is actually on the laptop itself. So uh, we are at the main event here. Let's go ahead and open the laptop. All right, get rid of this guy. And I'm guessing like every other Asus laptop, when I open the box, it's gonna lift up the laptop and kind of present itself um, didn't lift it. Yeah. Wow, that is nice. And it does lift up the laptop out of the box. We're going to go ahead and take that. Is there anything else in here? Nope. I like the hinge on this, look at this. I don't know if you can see that or not, but right here, just lifts it right out and kind of moves it off to this, up towards the top there, which is kind of cool. Nice presentation, good on Asus. I like that. It's a nice box too. Okay. I don't want to uh, wreck the plastic, so I'll put it up on this side. I just love the sound of unwrapping a laptop. So the first thing we see here is this, I guess it's a sticker, and it kind of talks a little bit about the laptop itself, mini LED technology, VESA display HDR, QHD, 1000 DCI, P3 coverage, Pantone validated adaptive sync technology, high performance RAM, talks about the MUX switch, 100 watt USB-C charging and then the Wi-Fi 6E. I'm looking forward to testing the charging. All right, let's see if we can remove this without any sticky stuff staying on the laptop. Okay. Okay, let's check out the top of the lid of the laptop and just check out and see if there's any flex. There is once you get towards the middle, as expected. I like the logo. I wonder if this lights up, but I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's nice kind of multicolor purple and blue. It's the logo and this strip right here. And then you got this kind of dot matrix design, but it's not embossed. You can't feel the dots at all. All right. Then you got this little exhaust here in the back. 
I'm not sure if you could see that, but kind of the tail there. And it looks like we got some IO too, but we'll check that out in a little bit. Let's go ahead and lift it up with one finger. Easy. Boy, that was smooth. That just looks nice and clean. Let's check out our wrist dress here. Okay, now I was looking for that logo that's on the wrist dress. I don't know if you can see that. I'll push that back a little bit so you can. Um, on the laptop, but I don't see it anywhere. I think it was just on the box, so that's okay. So, I don't know if you see this or not, but as you open up the lid here, there's the Asus logo again. I'm guessing it lights up, but then you have this little strip here uh, where you can see the internals of the laptop, but I'm wondering if it lights up. We'll have to check that out, but I'm really excited uh, for when we do. Keyboard feels really great. Nice travel, really nice travel. A little bit of clicking action there. I like that a lot. So, like the previous uh, laptop that we unboxed about a week ago with the same uh, secondary screen here, the trackpad was off to the side of the keyboard, and i got to be honest with you, I've worked with that laptop a bit um, using the trackpad, and I... I don't like it. I am right-handed uh, when using trackpads and mice, um, but I still don't like it on this side. So what I did is I disabled it and turned it into a numpad. And I'm guessing you can do it with this one as well. But like I said before, nice trackpad and the track, I mean, nice keyboard, but the trackpad itself is nice and smooth and uh, feels very like glass here and it clicks all almost all the way to the top so anyway there is that okay let's check out screen flex move that over we'll open it up so not a lot of wobble at all no 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 wobble at all Let's check out some screen flex here, see if we... Ah, very little at all. And I'm wondering if there's any on top of the screen here, on the secondary screen. It, this feels very sturdy. Okay. And I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to flip it on its side here. But down here... Uh, you can definitely see the venting, the fans down there. There's some holes that you can check out if you can see it. Um, we'll take a look at it again. But uh, I'm guessing uh, this thing gets really good uh, airflow for cooling uh, to keep this laptop cool while playing AAA games. So, boy, that is really nice. The keyboard is excellent. So, all right. So I was so excited about unboxing this laptop that I was lifting this up and showing you how it lifted up the laptop. I didn't see that this whole thing came up out of the box. And here's where the propaganda is uh, for the laptop. I was looking around for it in the box and I couldn't find it. It's like, wait a minute. I wonder if it's still in there and it's just buried under something. So sure enough, there it is. Um, we're going to go take a look at it real quick. Uh, it's the game. It, this is probably talking about the laptop itself. How to turn it on, all the different functions, the I.O. Looks like uh, we got an advertisement for Dying Light 2. And then we have the warranty card, which is great. And then it looks like we have a safety card. And then registration uh, of your laptop. And then it looks like we've got uh, simplified EU declaration of conformity. Okay, super awesome. So there's the propaganda. It was in the box and it was buried underneath um, the bottom here. So anyway, just to let you know. So we're going to check out the I.O. here 
On the left hand side, we got our power port, some venting, USB A, USB C. This actually is a display port slash power delivery port combo. So that's pretty cool. Uh, mini SD card slot, and then we have the headphone mic jack combo. On the other side here, looks like we have some venting, and then we have the other USB C. I think this is a Type C display port only. Yep. On the back, we have our Ethernet port, LAN port, uh, USB-A, and then an HDMI output port, and some more venting on the back. On the bottom here, we'll check that out. Got some more air intake here, and then we have some downward facing speakers, and we have some rubber feet here, here, and then up here. Probably can't see that very well because it kind of blends in, but there you go. And there's that logo like we saw on the um, wrist rest. Cool. Okay, we want to take a look at the internals, but first let's talk about how the bottom plate is secured to the chassis. Um, a couple things. The, when you have it face down on the desk, on top of the lid, the um, screw here on the left, on the right hand side does not come out. It lifts to where it lifts this bottom plate just a little bit so you can get your little guitar pick or whatever this is underneath and uh, undo the clips around it. But there's also this rubber piece here that covers this screw hole right here. And one of these screws fit in there. So be aware of it. It's 13 screws. They're T6s, torque screws. Another thing too is most of the screws are this size, but the two in the back and the one in the middle that I just spoke of are these longer guys right here. Still T6, but anyway, just be aware of that as well. So lots of variables. I think this was down here, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and lift this up. So like I said, the rubber feet, lots of grills, downward facing speaker grills. All right, toss that off to the side there. So the first thing we're faced with is the 90 watt battery. And then we got the two downward facing speakers. We have lots of shared and dedicated um, heat pipes to the fans to keep the CPU and GPU cool uh, while playing those AAA games. We got the two terabyte uh, SSD that the laptop came with, but we have this open slot here for more storage. Another SSD can go here. So that's great news. We got 32 gigs, I believe, on this particular laptop, DDR5, and I'm just gonna pop one out. They're stacked on top of each other here, so FYI. So it looks like I need to lift this up a little bit so we can get a better look. So I'm just gonna bring that up to the screen so you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in. snaps right in just like that and then it looks like we have you can't see it but the Wi-Fi card is right here underneath this primary SSD and it looks like it is screwed in and so uh, to me that means it's probably swappable so uh, lots of opportunity for upgrading this laptop which is uh, gets a thumbs up from me let's weigh this laptop here the laptop alone comes out to five pounds, 11.9 ounces. And if we include the power brick and cables, we're looking at a pretty decent seven pounds, 15.1 ounces. Something I've noticed on this laptop is it is a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can see greasy fingerprints here all along. And if I take my microfiber here, I'm sure the camera is wiggling really hard because I have it attached to the table. Cleans it up pretty, 
pretty well, but I'm just saying it's a little bit of a fingerprint magnet. Not as bad as the razor blades, but you do see them there. So, so before we move into my initial thoughts on this laptop, I wanted to turn it on and check out to see if there was any backlight bleed. And from what I can tell, uh, there isn't any on this particular laptop. Now, backlight bleed can vary from laptop to laptop, so just keep that in mind. But for this one, uh, we're good to go. So that is the Asus Rogue Zephyrus Duo 16-inch gaming laptop. There's only two things that really stood out to me as a negative uh, during re the review of this laptop. And one was the mini SD card slot. I wish it was full size. Another one was the trackpad off to the right hand side. Um, and uh, I, I wish somehow they were able to put it down below the keyboard, but I know why uh, it's over there on the right hand side. Uh, other than that, uh, the trackpad was nice, had a nice glassy, smooth feel to it. Keyboard had a really nice tactile feel, good travel. We'll check out the dual screens in the benchmarking video. Uh, plenty of I.O., uh, sturdy construction, and uh, I will tell you, if I was in a coffee shop working off this laptop and somebody saw me, they could definitely tell that I was working off a gaming laptop. This laptop is uh, geared up for future proofing, so lots of opportunity for upgrading. Um, so that's great news. Uh, we got this laptop off the Amazon website. Uh, for just a little over $3,800. So, um, is the performance of this laptop uh, worth that kind of money? I, I don't know. We're going to check that out and we'll bring that video to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from Tech by Pike, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. Helps the channel. Not only that, it gives us an opportunity to bring more videos like this to you. And for that, we thank you. We'll see you in the next one.